the magical feeling of match day and the desire to lose yourself in the moment. That's what today is all about. A meeting of two talented sides ready to go at it in front of a capacity crowd. Not to mention the eyes of the wider football world. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. And it really is a sparkling day for football at one of the great venues in the world game, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu in Madrid. My name is Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And on the menu for you today, live action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Real Madrid and they face Cadiz. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Could cross it in here. Could still be dangerous. Threat over for now, it seems. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Ferlon Mendy plays with Carvajal in the fullback positions. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. And the ball taken forward by Toni Kroos. He has options around him. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, Jude Bellingham has become one of the finest all-around midfield players in world football. That's no exaggeration. What do you expect to see from him today? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball. He can get himself out of tight situations. He can see a pass. He's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Rudiger. On to Carvajal. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. It's a short corner. The Houdiga. Oh, great block. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Vinicius Jr. Well, unable to bend his run offside. Jude Bellingham and Valverde well it's pass after pass will it be a goal 1-0 a fully deserved advantage based on what we've seen well here's the replay and it has been coming they've played some great football in this game and they fully deserve this goal Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. Well, back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. He's beaten his man. Well, in there to tidy up. Machis. And Real doing well to win it back. Rodrigo. Bellingham. Determined defending.
So a throw in for Real Madrid. Chance to play it in. Well, they're almost extending an invitation to have them come at them. Rodrigo. And on to Bellingham. Of course. And the keeper there to deal with it. And fired over by Kors. That's fine goalkeeping to hold on to the corner. But it wasn't first-class distribution. Kamavinga. Vinicius. Determined defending. And Bellingham. Gets in the way once more. In position. And what a magical save it was. <laughs> Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. And it's in. Real Madrid firmly in charge here. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. He knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Ruben Alcaraz. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. So plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here. Ruben Alcaraz and a strong tackle Rodrigo Chris Ramos that's a high quality pass really fine piece of defending play to break us up So on the cusp of half-time and Real Madrid well on top. Stuart, interested as always to get your take. Yes, it's been a really energetic display from them so far. The passing's been sharp. Oh, look at this, they must score! A goal! That's two for him today! They simply can't stop him! No wonder he's celebrating! Well, here's the replay. Just look at this pass from Tony Kroos. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, that's just what Ancelotti wanted. He has to be happy with this performance from his team. Well, on they go again. And Real very much in control. There could be trouble here. He's already been cautioned. This looks interesting. Speculative effort. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. He's playing with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily. And he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. (laughs) 
The second half commences. It was such a one-sided first half. Might it be different this time round? Carvajal. And now Rodrigo. And he stopped them in their tracks. Ruben Alcaraz. Chris Ramos. He takes aim. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Corner kick played in. Well, the danger is still there. Happy to take on the shot. Oh, great block. Valverde. Here's Carvajal. Feeding it through. Now he's got to stay calm. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Matisse. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, his name and number have been taken as well, Stuart. And quite rightly so. It was a poor challenge. He was right to give a penalty to the referee, and he's right to give the yellow card. Substitution for Real Madrid. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, here it is again. And just watch the keeper. He stands still, hoping it's hit down the middle. Unfortunately for him, he's got it wrong. Well, we're underway again, and this game was finished as a contest a long time ago. Modric. Mendy has it. The ball with Luka Modric. Rodrigo. Can he do it? And he got to it fairly easily. Thirty minutes to go then. Can he find the right pass? A fine reading of the situation. Carvajal. Rodrigo. And return to Valverde. Valverde. On to Carvajal. And he takes on the shot. Romini Kouame. Carcelen. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And he's fired over the corner. Well, no end product. 
Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Mendy has it. Vinicius Jr. Very quick thinking there. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And he keeps going. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Vinicius Jr. Rodrigo, and he's in. And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Escalante. And Gomez with it. And back to Gomez. And Real Madrid have the ball again. Running with the ball confidently. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now the quick counter-attack could be on. And Bellingham. Here's Vinicius Jr. Oh, great attacking play. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammates. Ruben Alcaraz. Chris Ramos. And a precise challenge just when it was required. Bellingham. And a loss of concentration. And the flag raised. Offside it is. Trying to handle the pressure. Escalante, now with Alcaraz. Well, far too much elevation there. Brahim Diaz now. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Well, they know how to pass the ball and at pace. Kwame. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Carvajal. And that is that, the end of the game. It goes into the books as a win for Real Madrid. What did you think of their overall performance? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.